If you are working with a relational database like Neon Postgres, you will need to create the relational schema before you can start moving around some data. Neon comes with an online SQL editor and we can use it to provide the commands to create a new table called todos. It will have an ID field which will default to a new GUID, a completed boolean, a message text, along with the created at time which we default to the time the item is created. We can even look at our tables and modify them from within the Neon console. Now that we have the todos table, we can add a new record with the message set to buy milk. All of the other columns within our table will automatically get default values as we specified in the schema. Once we save the record, you can see that our new row was created. Now that we have our database set up, let's connect to it from our Next.js project. For any database, you need to install a database driver which will be your main API to access the database. Neon provides its own drivers for using it from a serverless Node.js environment like Next.js. And we can install this driver as an npm package which we save to our project. Let's use this within our Next.js application. We start off with the use server directive as some of the functions we export we plan to use from the client. We import the Neon API from the database driver. Next, we create a utility that initializes this driver using our connection string. This returns a function which we can use to execute SQL commands. Next, we define the TypeScript type for our database records. And as we know, it will have an ID of type string, message of string, completed boolean along with the created that date. Let's create a server function that returns all the to-dos. We get the SQL utility and then execute the command select star from to-dos and we order it according to created at so that we get a stable response every time we run this query. We could over-engineer this example and add an ORM to ensure that the result types match, but let's keep things simple for now and manually use a type assertion to tell TypeScript the contents of the results. Just like we can read the data using the API provided by the database driver, we can also use it to update the data. First off, we create a server function that will create a new to-do. And as we know, all of the other columns will be provided default values as specified in our schema. As a part of our query, we get it to return these newly created values, which allows us to return the first item from the results as a new to-do. Next, we have a utility that updates the completed boolean of a to-do with a given ID. Using an ID ensures that we update the correct to-do, which is why you should always have a unique ID for your items as we specified in the schema. Once you have completed a to-do, at some point you would want to get rid of it, which is why we create a utility which deletes a to-do with the given ID. As you can see, it is pretty easy to work with Neon from our Next.js application given some basic knowledge of SQL. 